So how are we doing today? It's time for a brand new video. I hope everyone enjoyed my uh, Tuesday video, my special guest. Are you really that jolly all the time? Am I really that jolly? Ho 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 Such a question. He was real fun to have around. And he left me a little something. I can't show you what it was, but he left me a little something. Now, as I promised, today is time for my Q&A. And we'll get into it right after this. Hey people, how are we doing today? It's time for my Q&A video. Now, some of you have sent in some questions and I will answer them. And I was in town the other day and someone said, oh, you're looking for questions. And she had three. So let's begin. I've had several people asking me to explain my rating system. Now it's gone over a few changes since I first started this. Uh, a movie or TV show will have a rating of five different things. Either never mind, don't worry about it, very interesting, you should see it, very good show, or go ahead because it's rec highly recommended. And as far as anything else goes, uh, I have a rating system of between, of between 1 and 10, with 1 being the lowest, and 10 being, yes, perfect. Now, like, certain chocolates will be either 8, 9, or 10, because I'm a big chocoholic. And I'm proud of that fact. And, well, anything in between is very, um, how I'm feeling about it. Okay, on with some questions now. Sydney Palmer, what is the coolest place you've traveled to? Now, many, many years ago, I went to a place in Maggie Valley, North Carolina. It was high on a mountain called Ghost Town in the Sky. And that was the coolest place because it was a amusement park that was a Wild West theme and anywhere you went you could look down into the valley it was beautiful they had gunfights they had saloons they had just about anything and everything you'd want and rides they had roller coasters they had well, all kinds of rides it was a really great experience huh, someday they might bring it back Now, don't, don't hurt me if I get your name wrong. Nas Burgett, are you married or dating? I'm not married. I've never been married. And currently, I'm not seeing anyone. And as far as I can tell, there's no one in the uh, shadows. I hope that makes sense. OMG, Becky G. What is your favorite snack of all time? Now, something I wish I could get my hands on every single day because they're so good. They come from Britain and they are jelly babies. They are so good because they have the actual fruit juices in it. And it's just perfect. Also, the fact that they uh, have been on Doctor Who on more than one occasion. Tom Baker's was known for having a little bag of them around, and he'd offer them to somebody. And, well, they're very delicious. And like I said, I wish I could get them all the time. Let me see, let me see, let me see. 
What was the last movie you saw? The last movie I saw was Justice League. And oh, it blew me away. If you see my uh, review of Justice League, it's highly recommended because it is very good. It is so much better than Batman vs. Superman. Well, come to think of it, just about anything's better than Batman vs. Superman. Personal opinion, don't shoot me. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would you live? I'm torn between three places. Either Great Britain, that any of that area in there, New Zealand, or Australia. All three of those places hold a special interest for some reason. I haven't quite figured out why. But that's where I'd be. If I could live anywhere in the world, I'd pick one of those three places. Now, like I said, I didn't have any. I don't have many questions, and one of them I don't really understand what the big interest is. But what's under your bed? Now I'm going to give you a detailed idea of what's under my bed. Ready? The floor. <clears throat> oh, I might have some uh, ghosts living under there, but other than that, the floor. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Let me know you liked it. If you have any questions or comments, put them in the comment section below. If you think I'm totally insane, let me know what you think in the, com in the comments because, well, I'm pretty much crazy. If you're new to this channel and you like what you see, by all means, join this crowd and, well, you'll like more because you never know what to expect. And speaking of subscriptions, I'm only four away from having 200. Now, if you want to help me fulfill a dream then subscribe because like I said I will celebrate big time if I hit 200 before the end of the year and as always if you want to write me a letter you can you can send it to Kenny Davenport at P.O. Box 198 Crossville Tennessee 38557 it'll be somewhere up somewhere up on your screen and if you care to, send a self-addressed stamped envelope. That way I can write back to you. Let me see what else. Oh yeah, be sure you like, share, and comment. I would greatly appreciate it. And that's it for right now. You can expect another one this weekend, another video. And I guess that's about all there is. With that in mind, I'll see you later.